Hey guys, Joe here, and here we are for the first episode of my rank commentary. The first episode is going to be Septile, of course. This guy's my main in this game, and I made a guide of him, so I wanted to make a rank game, and just playing him on the ranked, of course, right after. So, we're going to be seeing a little bit of content of this, at least in the next few weeks, you know, some of these rank games, and tell me if you do enjoy them. Of course, I'm going to be the dittoed uh, Septile in this match. I'm going to be the purple one, and let's get going with the actual match. So, I start off with that Diglett. It won't really be charged for the majority of the match, and this first match is a really weird one. As you see, I try to begin by going off with my jumping Y, but it doesn't really work. He just goes off with his forward Y, hits me, and I just kind of get demolished. I luckily get that jumping X. I hit him from the sky. I try to do the same thing as him, but then he does the same thing as me. And it just, it's, as you see right here, I do one thing. He does the exact same thing. He beats me out. I try to go for the down A. He does the down A. It beats me out. And that's how I feel like this first match went. I kind of did the same exact stuff as him. I feel like I did them first, but I still lost to the same strategy as what I was doing. It was really weird. And really annoying for their first round. Of course, he uses that Cresselia, and then finally walks up, just gives me a little beating, and there's my first loss in this round. That was a pretty bad loss, as you see, he lived with quite a bit of his HP. I feel like I could have done a lot better in that round, but I also feel like I kind of got cheated out of a bit of it, because he just kept doing the same stuff as me, and beat me anyway. But in the second round, we're going to be doing a lot better. As you see right here, you're just running away, and then go in, jump, hit that X button, hit him from the sky, and now I'm going to be trying to space him a lot more. Now, as you see, when you do forward A, it's actually a counter type of move, so it's it's weird. Um, I jump in, that was a really bad idea, I should have just been trying to space. Once again, I jump in though, he tries to grab, I just attack him. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't really realize is that most subtiles don't grab too much, because, you know, a lot of their other attacks are a lot better, especially in their mega form. In their mega form, their grab doesn't really get much of a bonus, so they won't grab that much, but, yeah, you can kind of pull that off to um, learn to actually counter subtile a lot, use a counter, and it'll beat him out a lot, because um, they just won't grab that often. Um, of course he uses a Cresselia, tries to recover, and I finally get off the final hit, just forward A, and then press it again, get that Dragon Pulse, and there you go. Um, now I'm gonna pick that Cubone again, you know, switch him in between the two. I picked this cheer by Nia, but, you know, you can pick whatever cheer you really want. Usually this cheer is better if you have longer cooldowns, the short cooldowns don't matter as much, but, you know, whatever. I wanted to get that power up in the middle, but I just couldn't quite get it, he goes for the grab, I just attack him. Of course, right here, once again, he uses Cresselia. Probably not the best time, because he doesn't really have that much HP to recover, but, you know, whatever. Now, he goes for his burst mode, and I'm kind of screwed here. I try to per uh, try to space him out with my projectiles, but I forget projectiles don't work against burst mode opponents. Right here, though, I know that he's probably going to keep attacking me, so I go for my own grab. Not much you can do about it right there, and I probably could have went for a counterattack. And the same thing, once again, forward A is also a counter type of move. So I go for the down A. Um, of course, he's going to go for his burst. Just have to shield that whole thing. And I try to go for a down A to try to get, you know, the command grab, but just doesn't really work out, so that was a bit of a problem right there. I did not space that well at all. Right here, though, I get, of course, the Y and the Y, you know, both the parts of the Y. And then I get that nice command grab from far away, heals me up a little bit, and I get to do a lot of damage. Now I finally just try to space him, as you see, throughout all the stuff, hit him with that final forward A. And, of course, with the Leaf Blade, it just does take him out. That was a pretty nice first round. Those last two rounds were pretty good, and I feel like this was an okay set overall. Of course, later on, I did kind of learn exactly how to beat him. You know, use a bit more of these countering moves, get a bit more grabs, but let's move on to the second set. Okay, now we're off to the next match. Of course, I'm Septile once again, and we're facing a Charizard. So in this match, we start off, I start to try to space him a little bit, you know, run away. I hit him with one of those forward Ys, does a decent amount of damage, and of course, once again, I'm going back to that spacing game. I hit him with some long-range attacks and we're just kind of waiting. I went for a bad command grab right there, I really shouldn't have done that. And luckily right there, I did up A, it dodged his grab, and I tried to do it again right there, but didn't quite work that time because of course he did counter it. After this, hold the shield, he just attacks me right out of it. That was a really bad idea by me, I shouldn't have held my shield right there. There wasn't many other options he could have done but grab, so shouldn't have done that, but I did. Luckily right after that, I do break his projectile with my strong projectile, and once again, going back to that spacing game, which does work really well as a subtile. He has a really good spacing game, at least in the middle range. As you can see, the spacing worked out pretty well, except for right there, that was a bad idea. Idea. Once again, though, I get that up X, which jumps over his grab again, and then I can go for my own up A, which is Lee Storm, does a ton of damage. I get that forward A, doing a ton more damage, put these things back on the ground, hoping that it'll walk into them. He doesn't walk into them. In fact, he actually almost beats me right here. Does a ton of damage, hits me over and over and over again. I thought I was about to lose right there. 21 HP left. I don't want to waste my burst bar, though, so I save it, even though I could have recovered a bit of HP. And, of course, I finally get the final hit by the auto-locking X. So there you go. That's pretty nice. Uh, next, I get that Diglett, of course. He's just free. Now, with Nia, I'd say get the Synergy Burst as Subtile instead of just the supports, and then pick these two supports that have a fast charge time, because your Synergy is super good at Subtile. It makes you a way better character. Probably one of my favorite synergies in the game. Now, right here, I have some big problems. First off, I miss my I miss my attacks, you know, both of them. And then, um, second off, he does grab me, which does put me in a big state of, you know, peril. 
Once again, I kind of miss everything, you know, right there. And right now, I'm essentially just wasting my burst altogether. I try to go for a last effort burst attack. He jumps right over it. And now he has his burst. He has it fully. I've missed pretty much everything with my uh, with my burst so far. Um, of course, he does miss that burst attack. But since I wasted my burst, he has all this extra burst damage and all these different attacks with his burst. So there's not much we can do right here. Right now, we're just both missing our attacks. I luckily do get that grab right there. He hasn't hurt me too much with his burst so far, but you know, he's done a decent amount, and of course, I really kind of did waste mine. Now, I'm going in with the Diglett once again. This really allows a lot of offensive pressure, but as you see right here, I kind of missed stuff out of it. Once again, I'm not really timing my attacks way too well, and I'm attacking too fast before he gets out of his um, lag. Right there, I accidentally go for one of those counters. He attacks me, really big problem, and just take a huge amount of damage. And then after that, he just kind of walks over, and uh, you see right here, just burns me in the face. Super effective instant kill. So yeah, there we go. We're back to that one-to-one -one state ratio. I wish I would have had more um, Nia, you know. Nia give me a bit more support power. Uh, not support power, but give me a bit more synergy power. But instead, I got that Diglett support, which isn't bad, but just not quite as good as having a full um, gauge, you know, free burst gauge. Once again, I try to space a little bit. I'm just trying to run away, but he's actually a bit faster than me when I'm running away, and he just hits me with that fire. Big problem. Luckily, I get that counter attack right there, you know, going in, going in. We both <laughs> space really awfully right there. Um, and then I just attack. He tries to go for the grab. I just hit him with my forward A. Just keep using my forward A. This is a really bad part now. I should have been doing that. I jump over him, then go for the X attack, and then I just attack him again. Hit him a few times, you know, right here. Go for the forward A again. Uh, he breaks my shield, but luckily for, this, uh, for me, this doesn't really do anything, as I can just hit him with another Leaf Blade. I throw out one of my jumping Xs, uh, my jumping Ys, because it'll follow him around and do a bit of damage. Of course, I once again change the um, change the dual phase, I guess you could say. Throw out that Diglett, hoping that'll do a little bit, but really, it doesn't do much. But one thing I just noticed that it did is it actually cancelled out his burst. He was just about to start his burst, and then I used Diglett and it cancelled it. I didn't notice that in the match at hand, so I thought he still had his burst up, uh, his burst attack, but he doesn't. I just noticed that. It's pretty funny. Good job, Diglett. So, of course, I try to space him once again with my own Sceptile spacing. He just runs up, grabs me. You don't always want to space with Sceptile. If they're getting close to you, don't jump for the spacing. It's really easy for them to tell what you're going to do. Luckily, right there, though, he tried to use a counter, and then he tried to grab me. He missed both of them. I could just go in for my burst attack. Right here, we see a huge amount of damage. Sceptile's burst attack does a ton. Sceptile's burst mode, or his mega mode, makes him a much better character, gives him more damage over round, and just makes him a lot better at spacing, traps, everything. His mega is super good. That's why I'd say try to get the synergy burst from Nia instead of your support burst. Anything works really well with him, but yeah, I'd say that's probably some of the best thing to do. And as you see right there, I did rank up a little bit. Now we're off to the final round where I am versus a Garchomp. Now I've been placing against a lot of Garchomps lately. They've been all spamming their digs and I finally kind of figured out how to counteract dig. But let's get to the match at hand. He runs up, just hits me a few times, then he breaks right through my shield. I should have attacked him right there while he was charging, but I just didn't think to. He hits me with the dig once again, which I just keep having a big problem with. Um, I try to go for up A, doesn't work, but then I do beat out his grab, of course. Hit him a few times, and right here, get that command grab. Down A. It's a really good command grab, one of the better in the game. And of course it heals me, does a lot of damage to him. I start to try to space, you know, with all my A moves. And then right as he's right there, he either has to shield or jump, but he just does nothing, and I get another command grab as next to the ground. I put more stuff on the ground, hit him, I hit him into more of the projectiles, as you can see right here, I just hit him into all the different projectiles, it does a huge amount of damage, I don't even know how to explain that, it was just amazing. Uh, next, I just walk up next to him, that was a really badly spaced um, jumping X, I shouldn't have done that, you know, trying to come from the, the ceiling. Um, I charged my counter attack a little bit more than his, so it did beat his counter out, of course, and I get another command grab from afar. This is the spacing you want to get with the Sceptile. And when you're playing against Sceptile, know the command grab spacing, because the command grab is insanely strong. It has a lot of range and is really easy to hit. So know the spacing, try not to stay in that distance. And also the command grab just works so great with his own bullet seed and with his leap seed. It's really hard to try to beat out, but of course if you can space yourself right, you can do pretty well with it. Or just jump a lot and there's not much uh, Sceptile can do. He's actually not that great against people that just jump. Uh, I guess he does have a few anti-airs, but he doesn't have any far-range anti-airs. Um, right here, though, I use Diglett, and it does, of course, beat through his dig. That was one of the things I found out. I try to go for the up X, it just does beat me out through that, and then I try to go for grab, but it was way too late for, for, for to go for a grab. Um, after that, of course, go for that counter, hit him with a few more moves, running towards him. Uh, that was a really bad idea to try to space. You shouldn't try to space as they're running towards you that close. It doesn't really work as this character. I jump over him, just hang up for a while, go for the jumping X again. Bad idea, I should have just come back to the ground, gone for a grab. I hit him, or I try to go for a grab, and he hits me, that is. I uh, try to attack a few more times, trying to space him. And once again, go for the command grab, miss, but then he attacks straight onto the floor. Get the command grab the second time, giving me some of that HP back, which I really needed. And I have stuff all over the ground now. Of course, he just throw out that Q-bone, hits me out, and then he'll just jump in, hit me with a lot of damage. Right here, you know. 
I try to throw out my Diglett to stop his dig, but he gets right out of his dig anyway. As you see, I'm getting pretty close, trying to throw out all the different plants all over the ground. I beat through that attack, so I'm pretty sure I got the game in the bag right here. I go into my Mega Form, see right here, I try to go for that, and then finally, I attack, 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 and I miss- oh, I was trying to get it frame perfect so he'd come up and I'd hit him with the last part of Dragon Pulse, but I missed that Dragon Pulse, so he could easily just get up, hit me with his burst attack, and of course, kill me. So that was my big problem right there, I should have timed it a lot better, and should have waited to use Dragon Pulse until a lot later. Of course, that's the- Dragon Pulse is the weird spinny, like, stuff in the air, you know, that's Dragon Pulse, or at least that's what I think it is. Of course, I pick another support. Still wish Neo would give me that nice synergy boost, but I chose the wrong thing these rounds. Um, I kind of figured that out after these rounds, to be honest. I finished, I started off, let's say, by hitting him with a few of these moves. Once again, I tried to go for a little bit more of that spacing that I got in round one. You know, run off. Um, of course, my down X, I think that is, is a pretty nice move. It gets under a lot of grabs and a lot of stuff like that. It's pretty good. Um, once again, just more spacing, jump around. I tried to hit him while he was in the air with my jumping X, didn't work out. But then once again, when he tried to grab, I could do my up X and let me jump over his grab. <laughs> once again, though, we just got a nice a nice little combo as we saw in some of the previous games. Just run up, hit him a little bit, go into my burst form, throw some stuff on the ground. Once again, there we go, just stuff on the ground, keep throwing stuff on the ground, and then finally finish it off. He gets hit into that, and I just hit him with a down X. And of course, I get the perfect game on that final round. It was pretty close to the first round. Well, not really. But the second round, of course, he did beat me. But this final round got that perfect. Showing off who the true Septel is, you know. It's me, my boys. And I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll probably be doing one of these on my champ next. So that kind of tells you for the guide next. And then um, vote who you want me to do after my champ. And I'll, I'll do that. A lot of people have been saying Braxian, so I might do her. But, you know, whatever you guys want. Thank you all for watching, though. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.